day after Thanksgiving. How many times have we said that today? Oh, about a hundred. Yeah, okay, so you know what that means? You got a ton of leftovers in the refrigerator. Our next guest uses popular Thanksgiving ingredients like sweet potato, pumpkin, stuff like that to make the most delicious tacos. He's here with those tacos and more specialties from his restaurant, Garia Tacos. Did I say it okay? Yes, you did. Okay. It's good. Welcome, owner and chef Wes Avila. Happy day after Thank Thanksgiving. You. Happy Thanksgiving. So, you don't have sweet potato tacos after Thanksgiving, or do you have them all year? Sweet potatoes we got year round. That's our most popular yeah. taco. Yeah. But the seasonal one is the pumpkin taco. The pumpkin taco. So that comes yeah. up this time of year. Yeah. And I hear people go nuts for it. Yeah, right around the fall, they start, it starts coming, you know, and we do it with a little bit of candy pecan oh, I see that. and some uh, dates and so bird tomato chili. That's when we got pretty popular. Ooh, really nice. So your restaurant, um, tell us how it got started, how you brought gourmet tacos. Initially, it was in a truck, right? Well, it actually started from a street cart. Oh, so it started cool. in, a, in a cart in 2012 and grew into a truck uh, in about a year later. And we ran the truck for about, I'd say about four and a half, five years. And finally, the last incarnation is the restaurant we started in July. That's pretty fast. Cool. It is. A car to a truck that quick. Yeah, well, we were, it was right. forced because the police actually came and chased us. <laughs> okay, oh, so you had to do we something. We had to do something, yeah. Mm. Okay, so the, the, this is the. This the, is our most popular one. This is the sweet potato okay. taco. We all have one. Oh, yeah, try. Yeah, it's yeah. got, uh, bur oh, it's got uh, almond chili, fried corn, a little feta cheese, and some scallion. So that's our, like, number one seller. It's, like, really, really popular. Mm. Oh, that. What's the crunch on top? It's fried corn. These are corn nuts. Mm. No. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. That is yummy. Mm. Okay. The pumpkin taco, which you kind of explained mm -hmm. this time of year. So it's the pumpkin taco we roast in the fire. So we use uh, hickory mm. and white oak. And we, so we roast it like just open fire, mm. peel them, and then we caramelize the pumpkin. Oh, you got a kick in it, buddy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is this here? This is the uh, eggplant taco. It's a collaboration oh. I did with Cacique. And so it features the panela cheese that's been that fried on the bottom. Yeah, this is the one yeah. you guys have right here. Okay. And it's got a little bit of uh, the queso fresco on top for some mm -hmm. sharpness. And it's kind of like what my prediction is on the future of, of food and trends that are going to be happening this year. And what is that? That's a lot of open fire cooking. Okay. So um, the eggplants are cooked right, over, right on the embers. Mm -hmm. And um, we toss them with uh, a little bit of curry, a little bit of uh, olive oil. And so on the pickup, we, you know, re-saute them and add all the sauce. Wow. You know how to jazz up a vegetable. Yeah. Really? I yeah. mean, wow. Also seafood. Seafood, yeah. We got the, um, this is our shrimp tostada. Mm -hmm. It's got avocado, a little bit of salsa, some uh, furukake, pickled shallots and avocado. And the what? Furukake? Yeah, what, what, <laughs> it's, uh, what? The Japanese. I'm glad you asked. I wasn't sure. Sesame. Uh, huh. You find it a lot on sushi restaurants. It's okay. like sesame and nori mm -hmm. with a little bit of bonito shavings, oh, which is the dry tuna. Um, I love the blue corn tortilla. Oh, the blue corn tortilla comes from Colonel Truth in Boyle Heights as well. So good. They're made good. every day fresh for us. Nice. And so the, that one Look over there. Look at these bad boys right here. <laughs> yeah, what is... I still want to take a bite of that. Those are our uh, Baja fish tacos. So oh, it's okay. like my take on kind of tacos that you get in Ensenada. So they're... I didn't even see the, I didn't even see the, the shell. They're so big, the tortilla. Yeah, yeah we, do, we do a three ounce piece and it's uh, beer batter, fried, and it's got chipotle creme on the bottom, pico de gallo. Oh. It's more traditional, but yeah. uh, you know, just a, a little bit jazzed up for what we do. Also got breakfast over here, breakfast burritos? Yeah, breakfast burritos, we just opened a to-go window that's actually available from 7 a.m. to 11 o'clock, nice. five days a week. Mm -hmm. So you can just walk up to the side of the restaurant, you don't even have to go in. And you can order, we have a veggie burrito, a uh, bean and egg burrito, and an avocado and bacon, and that's what I have for here. And uh, with a little bit of fermented salsa. All right. Creative ideas. All right, it's my turn. Yeah. Garia Taco. There you go, Glenn. Located in the Arts District of downtown Los Angeles, West uh, also has a cookbook called Garia Tacos Recipes from the streets of LA. For more information, you can go to gariatacos.com or follow us on social media. You know what? I'm not a foodie. This is one of the best tacos I've ever had. Yeah. Not a, I'm not just saying that. It's so good. D. Not bad for a guy that used to get arrested for pushing that car around his own way. You know a true American success story right here in Los Angeles. Born and raised in LA. Oh, great to meet you. Thank you nice so much. Nice to meet much. you guys. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back.